tops in the majors, and he does like to throw that fastball at the top of the zone, especially with two strikes. Facing Robbie Gro Pops it foul. My partner Dan Petrie did. Paid off with a couple of hits the other night. On the bases, just create that traffic. This one's playable on the left side, Jose Ramirez. Nobody around him, one away. Here's the defense behind Tristan. Here's Jonathan Scope. And that's what he tries to get those left-handers, just to get that ball in the air and pop it up. Another fastball up in the strike zone. And then what he'll do, he'll break down, making it very difficult on the Tiger hitters. Scope lines one to right center. But there is Oscar Gonzalez. That double had topspin on it, or he would have been looking at his third home run in just a couple of days. Huh. Yeah, the mouth guard, I believe. Well, maybe it's just gum. Line drive left field, and Stephen Kwan. Adam played shallowly and comes in for the running catch. Like the Tigers, Tristan McKenzie gets Detroit 1 2 3. And Willie Castro for Detroit against Tristan McKenzie, who needed just nine pitches to retire. 2 0 to Javier Baez, who is. On a line to right, Gonzalez drifting over, and he retires Javier Baez. There on his right shin, but now he's given signs the old fashioned way, I guess. Because that way they don't have to take it off their wrist. You can't have it when you're a batter. So they would have to take it off their wristband. And Too old to Torkelson. A little high, and it's 3 and 0. And my guess is Kenzie says, no, I'll just go with the old traditional way. Torkelson walks on four straight, and the Tigers have their first base run. Up and in. And McKenzie is ribbing going back and forth. Both have had their success against the. 1 1 is outside. Of that game. And I seem to pitch pretty well against the Tigers. This is his. Get a little edge mentally against the opposition. 3 1 to Willie Castro, and he swings through it. Or any base runner. There he goes. Swung on and missed. Throw down to second, and they get Torkelson in a strike him out. Spectacular. As many home runs this year in 40 games as he had all of last year for Erie in 112. There is some other news around the Tigers minor leagues, and Trevor Thompson will have that here in a moment. 0 oh 2 to death. Up and in. One and two. That high where they almost stop the bat before it goes all the way through. Cameron gets caught looking. That's the second. To talk with some of the top prospects as well. And the number eight prospect, Dylan Smith, you see his record right there. But he, I still hear from those guys on upcoming episodes of Tigers Live. So you want to stick around for those. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. This is Eric Haas. His first start against Cleveland this year. And he strikes out on three pitches. Brought him to get him out of that feeling good about himself. He looks the part. Derek Hill, a line drive base hit to left field for the Tigers' first hit of the day. Better. Candelario takes strike one. But we do know that Miguel Cabrera couldn't finish the game yesterday with some back. Nice lead by Derek Hill. Ooh, look out. Oh, oh man. Gary Jones. Oh. Candelario swings through it, and the Tigers are done in the third. One of Dan's 19 four world champ, 12 years as a major leaguer, and quite honestly, I completely forgot that you played a season in New York with the Yankees. I did in uh, in night was got hurt that year, pulled an oblique muscle and spent a lot of time on the DL, but 
I only I spent one year there, and then I ended up playing uh, one year with uh, in 1990 with instrumental in the team's success, for certain. And I, I know you were very versatile. Did you view being a quote unquote? A lot of times, uh, I I'd say I when Sparky would uh, maybe go to me to be playing third base every day. I'd eventually that ball's deep and off the wall. Harold Castro hustling into second. And he's got a double. No, they're going to say it's a home run. Yeah, it's a home run yeah. for Harold Castro. Wow. His fourth of the season, and the Tigers have a 1 0 lead. Runs like you did say last year. So Harold Castro is definitely locked in. Another example of Harold Castro, very similar to. Baez rips one at short, but right at Ahmed Rosario. And there are two. Well, Jack was pitching. He'd have been all over me if I didn't make the play, so. <laughs> it would be today. And still telling you about it, I'm sure. And Tram didn't start that game, uh, but I did. And I moved around and made a few nice plays. I really wish we could have finished it off. Well, you made one. I remember Broderick Perkins down the line. and. And thought for sure he was going to get it. In the air to center. And Spencer Torkelson has retired. Bro, oh, what happened? Because he wasn't expecting I was going to say, yeah, we went over when I'm throwing first pitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, after, and after that, everything was. Demonstration. And so we're all still continuing to learn. And I still have a lot more questions. Uh, evolution of the game, as you said. And it's, it's fun to watch. What I found interesting, too, he, he puts the earpiece in here. It seems like they've thought of just about everything in the design of that. You know, they've got the, the piece and, mm -hmm. you know, for the, the shortstop. Thought about the bilingual, all the different languages. Line drive right at the second baseman Jimenez. Willie Castro's out to start. Keep the other team from stealing signs. And the comfort level, you know, with, with pitchers, having them get in the type of rhythm that you would like them to. And, and the pitcher or the catcher can control that that troll that that pace they can they can decide the pitcher might get the sign they get the ball and they might be walking back to the mound and the pitch might already be called but you can calm yourself down and say okay then you do that catcher same thing hey i gotta give my catcher a little bit of a uh, a reprieve hit but already i mean both you can see just the pace is really picked up in between pitches and i mm -hmm. think that they've been castro who deposited 364 feet to left field. He strikes out Cameron. This is Eric Haas, who struck out his first time up and follows the first pitch back. Oh, and two to Haas. Fouled away. That's a young Eric Haas here in Detroit. One and two to him. I get a kick out of that. Pulled the string and struck him out for the second time before Minnesota comes to town for five against the Tigers with Dan Petrie and Craig Monroe. Souls apparently here today. And a little bit yesterday, as Derek Hill skies one to center for Miles Straw. And there's one out here in the sixth. Trevor Thompson's got a special guest, Trev. Yeah, God gets a bad rap, like you said, but Detroit's really beautiful the more you get to be there. Glad you're enjoying your time. Now, parents will have a different uh, view of their son. Of course, moms and dads are going to gush. The big brother might have a different opinion. He, he said growing up, he got to play some sports with you and some of the older guys. Uh, how did you guys treat him at the time? We were always very competitive uh -huh. and spent a level of competition, and it made it very fun to just spend time with him. There's a blast deep right field. It's gone. Jay Marquette Delario with a solo bomb here in the sixth to give the Tigers a 2-0 lead. swing by the candy man another guy with a tough 
job there. Just set his first time, then comes back the next at bat after he says, oh, I'm a little more comfortable and gets a pitch he can drive. Scope grounds out to second, back down to Trevor Thompson. Trev? But, uh, you know, the family is here in some way to support Spencer Torkelson. Mom and dad have been here for sure, and now with his brother, it's a, it's a great story. And you love the has for the other. Harold Castro follows it away, and it's one and one. Harold Castro with a homer in the fourth, and now Jamer Candelario a homer here in the sixth. You know what impresses me, Simo, is just the ball. You don't see opposite field home runs this year like you used to. Where's he generating that power? This is belted to deep center field. Straw going back, and he's got it just before the warning track. Stands in as the first batter in the seventh. Fouls it back. Look out, Shep. Oh, just a little short of our booth. We're on more. I, I did get up, and the the chair we were in was on a, on wheels, so it spun back on me. This one's flared to right. And Baez is out to start. The just had his brother on. I'm sure his brother would love nothing better than for Spencer to get another nice... Uh, One and one to Spencer Torkelson. Pops it up. Foul territory for Josh Naylor. He's got it. Here's Willie Castro, who's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a line out. It really was. <laughs> yep. It was set up. He knew it was going to happen. You don't have to say much to the. 0-2 to Willie Castro outside. I also told Spencer Torkelson, look, in this town, sports, we've got our athletes, and that's who we love and embrace. And he kind of looked at me and goes, that is so cool. 2-2 to Willie Castro. High and away. Struck him out. The Tigers go 1-2-3 in the seventh. They are starter for Cleveland remains out there. He'll get the bottom third of the Tigers order and very appropriately Daz Cameron leading off. It'll be Cameron then Eric Haas and but made a difference in the field with a running catch. Slams one to center field. And Miles Straw has it. One out here in the eighth time for and he just gets very comfortable every time he sees the Tigers. Has seven strikeouts today, but has allowed in the sixth. The only homers he's ever allowed to the Tigers in his starting career. Eric Haas delivers a one-out single here in the eighth. His first hit of the day. Fouls it away. Squares to bunt, bunts through it, and it's 0-2. Struck him out. Which is the difference in the ball game right now. Fouls the first pitch bat. That home run for Candelario traveled 365 feet. Left is bad at 105. Takes it in the dirt, one and one. Oh, and he's the difference in the ball game right now. Down in the count, one and two. Ground ball left side. Jose Ramirez bottled it, and everybody's safe. 